Number 23. Consider the circle x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 10y minus 8 equals 0. The area of the circle is what? To the nearest whole number. So to do this question, we're going to need to use a standard form of a circle, which um, if you didn't know, this is the standard form of a circle. Uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And you may be wondering what all these things are. So this x and y is just the basic x and y you see here. This just means this just is like a basic x and y like on the circle, right? You have, you have a circle. Here's a point. This point is x comma y. That's what that is. And then this h and k, that's actually the center of your circle. So the center would have coordinates of h comma k. And then r, you might have guessed, is just the radius of your circle or the distance from the center to x comma y. So pretty much we have to take this equation and get it into this form so we can figure out what r squared is. And then the area of a circle is just pi r squared. So just take r squared multiplied by pi. So let's see. We're going to have to complete the square to get these. So I'm going to rearrange this a little bit just to make it easier to, to do. So we're going to get x squared minus 8x plus something plus y squared plus 10y plus something equals, and then I'll move the 8 over to the right-hand side. So equals 8. Now to complete the square, here's what you do. So you take the coefficient of your linear term. So in this case, that's 8x or negative 8x rather. Uh, you divide it by 2, which gives you negative 4, and then you square it. So that gives you plus 16. And then for our second part, y squared plus 10y. So you divide 10 by 2, you get 5, square that, you get 25. But of course, we're adding this stuff to the left-hand side, so to maintain the equality, we have to add it to the right-hand side. So it's uh, 8 plus 16 plus 25, which I'm pretty sure is 49. Now, we could get it into this form, but we really don't have to, but I'll, I'll go ahead and show it anyway. Um, so for x squared minus 8x plus 16, that factors to be x minus 4 squared. And then y squared plus 10y plus 25 factors to be y plus 5 squared. And that's all equal to 49. And so you can see by looking at this and looking at our standard form that r squared is going to be 49. And so the area is just going to be 49 times pi. 49 times pi. That's not helpful. If this ever happens to you, by the way, if you use an Inspire and this ever happens to you, um, where it where it gives you something like this, where you do 49 times pi and it just spits it back out at you, you have to do Control Enter. This will this will save you a lot of headaches later on. All right, so you do Control Enter and you get an area of 154, and that's answer choice A. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment and I'll make a video with the solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.